ஹலோ டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வர்ச்சுவல் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் லேர்னிங் திஸ் இஸ் டாக்டர் ஆர் அன்பு செல்வி அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் நிர்மலா காலேஜ் ஃபார் விமன் கோயம்புத்தூர் இன் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ லெக்சர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் டிமாண்ட் ஃபோர்காஸ்டிங் டிமாண்ட் ஃபோர்காஸ்டிங் இஸ் அ மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஆஸ்பெக்ட் ஆஃப் அ ஃபார்ம்ஸ் whether it is a new firm or existing firms they want to expand their business they want to do their demand forecasting so in this video we are going to see what do you mean by demand forecasting what are the different types of demand forecasting and different methods adapted in this demand forecasting demand forecasting the information about the future is essential for both new firms and those planning to expand their scale of production in future most firms are confronted with the problem of forecasting the demand for their product therefore firms always have a rough estimate of the demand prospect as they have to acquire inputs both men and material organize production process advertise the product and organize sales channels the knowledge about market size become important element of demand forecasting demand forecasting demand forecasting means it is an estimate of future demand for the product that is it is an attempt to predict the future course of demand by the past experience definitions of demand forecasting as per condition kind of and still demand forecasting is an estimate of sales during a specified future period based on the proposed marketing plan and a set of particular uncontrollable and competitive forces as per philip kotler demand forecasting means it is the company's forecast that is company's forecast is the expected level of company sales based on the chosen marketing plan and assumed marketing environment from this two definitions will come across three important components that is always the market forecasting depends upon marketing plan competitive forces and a business environment next we'll pass on different types of demand forecasting there are two important types of demand forecasting one is short term demand forecasting and another one is long term demand forecast short term demand forecasting short term demand forecasting is limited to short period usually for a period of 1 year it relates to policies regarding sales decisions purchase policy pricing policy and financing policies it refers to existing production capacity of the firm the estimate determined by the companies it is essential for formulating the price policies of a company only for short period the second type is long term demand forecasting in long term demand forecasting businessmen should know about the long term demand for the products they should go on planning for a new plant or expansion of an existing unit that depends upon long term demand for a products it generally depends upon four components that is new plant or expansion macroeconomic concepts industry forecasting and firm level forecasting it has two important drawbacks that is probability of error may occur in a very high ways that happens in long term demand forecasting and second drawback is it is very difficult to predict cost of production price level and market competition in a long run so demand forecasting done 
for both short term and long term periods what are the different methods that is adopted in demand forecasting several methods are employed for forecasting the demand in the market all these methods grouped under two heads that is survey method and statistical methods survey methods are classified according to the information from the customer point of view and opinion of experts are collected by the interview schedule survey method can be divided into four types that is opinion polling method expert opinion method delphi method and consumer interview method what do you mean by opinion survey method sales persons or experts of a companies are required to estimate the expected future demand for the products their respective territories are in different regions it depends upon the sales persons or experts opinions and second one is expert opinion apart from the customers and sales person distributors or exp- outside experts may also be used for forecasting the demand for the products it they are also used to determine the market share in determining the growth third one is delphi method a variant of opinion polling or survey method is a delphi method it was developed by rand corporation of usa in 1940 for predicting the technical changes in the forecasting of a demand of a products so this method was also famous in usa and fourth method is consumers interview method consumers are contact personally to know about the plans and preferences regarding the consumption of the products so this was conducted by the sales person to know the preferences of a regular customers or existing customers or target group of customers second important broad category of this uh, demand forecasting is statistical method statistical methods used for long term demand forecasting in this method statistical and mathematical techniques were used to forecast the demand this method lies on the past data collected by the producers and their experts so this method can be further classified into four types that is trend projection method barometric method regression and correlation method and simultaneous equation methods first one is trend projection method otherwise known as time series analysis a well established firm would have accumulated data through past experiences so these data are analyzed to determine the nature of existing trends then this trend is projected into future and results were used as the basis for forecasting the future demand in the markets second one is barometric method under barometric method present events are present data are used to predict the direction of changes in future This is done with the help of economic and statistical indicators. This method uses the projection of past demand for the products and services into the future references. And third method is regression and correlation method. So simple and multiple correlation techniques have been used or adapted to forecast the demand of a market conditions and here regression method is also in a, uh, used by the companies to identify and analyze the relationship between variables that is adapted to forecast the activities of a organizations and fourth one is simultaneous equation so it is a systematic and complete approach to forecasting the demand in a market this method employs several mathematical tools and uh, statistical tools for estimating or predicting the future course of demand of a consumers so these are the different kinds of methods that is adapted by the companies to determine or forecast or estimate their products in the markets 
dear students in this video we have learned about demand forecasting different types of demand forecasting and different methodology of demand forecasting hope and i think you have understood this concept clearly thank you for watching this video